Yo, what's good, family? It's your boy Sky Joy, and look, today I'm gonna be showing you a big secret right here, big tip. Pause. Pause. Pause what? You said something gay. I'm gonna show you the perfect vocal sit right on top of everything and stay that way for the whole song. I'm gonna show you how I create that. You feel me? So look, it's real simple. Look, it starts with the beat right here. So look on the screen right here. So look on the beat, I have an EQ7 band. And I just got a little bit of this mid frequency carved out. Like, this is a little space where a little pocket for the vocals to go. So, I got that set like that, right? But here go the sauce. 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 I is the channel strip. I got it side chain to my all vox. Like, all the vocals running through this one down here, right? Cool. And I pull this up. Alright, so it's up, right? Let's play it. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna reset it down here to negative. Let's play it. Like you hear how it is right now. Yeah, I heard it low now, I'm gonna pull it up so you can hear what it sounds like when it's all the way up. And then I can tell you how I find the sweet spot. So, this is with it all the way up. Now I'm really starting to hate myself. Now it's too loud. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it down so I find like a good spot right here. So here we go. Now I'm really starting to hate myself. I don't wanna love nobody else. All I do is Like you gotta you gotta listen with some headphones on or you listen on the speaker to really hear the effect that it's giving. Cause like with it on, the eight oh eight don't hit as hard. Like the whole beat itself is not hitting as hard, right? So now I'm really starting to hate myself. I don't wanna love nobody else. All I do is sit around and think about And all I'm doing is to achieve this right here is I'm using a compressor and I just adjust the threshold the <laughs> the threshold and the ratio. That's 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 it. Like I left it at a uh, what it was. Uh, I think I had like it was like somewhere in there. Now I'm really starting to hate myself. I don't wanna love nobody else. All I do is sit around and think about it. Look, and also you gotta side chain it. So you wanna go to the source right here. This is in Pro Tools. You wanna pull up the channel strip, right? And then you wanna go to the side chain, change it from internal, put it on the key input. And you want to put it on average. You don't want to touch none of this over here. And then you just pick a random, like, bus. And you just choose that. And make sure you pull up that same bus down here on the sim. And then you're able to do this right here. And, I, and you just move it to your liking. And you can adjust the compressor or the limiter to your liking too. Like, you can bring it in. Like, I'm going to show you what it does. Now I'm really starting to hate myself. Right there to keep your vocals sitting on top. Also, like if you use this for a podcast, you can do the same thing. You playing music in the background or anything to make your vocals sit on top of it. Like side chain, you can do this with any side chain compressor, what whatever. But like for Pro Tools, I like to use the channel strip because it comes with it, and I know it's always gonna be in any studio I go into that has Pro Tools, regardless if I have my plugins with me, my MacBook with me, or they got Waves plugins, whatever type of plugin it is. I prefer using the channel strip because it's easy, it's real efficient, but you can side chain with anything, like for real. Like this is this is the ultimate finesse right here. You can it's just that simple, fam. But look, I hope you can take this and add it to your mixes and see what it sounds like for you. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Take this, finesse it, work it into your take this and work it into your workflow, whatever you wanna call it. But look, take it, use it. 
make sure you use it the right way. Don't use it crazy. This a little trick to make sure the vocals sit on top. If you don't have vocal rider, also if you have vocal rider, it's gonna give you like that extra layer of security, and it's gonna always make sure the vocals sit on top of the beat. You don't want them to get lost in the mix. You want them to sit on top because the vocals are the main part. The vocals are the main part of the song. Those have to be the loudest, but they don't have to be too loud. They just have to sit on top of everything else. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, shoot your boy DM. I got a Discord, just created it, hit me in the DMs. I can shoot you the link. But yeah, off that. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, no, maybe. If so, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and um, I'll see you later. Yeah, no, maybe. I don't know, man. Quit playing with me.